the red cooking pot. We replace everything in our life, with unlimited internet content. Today we are the most informed people in the history of our civilization, still confused. Our heads are full of knowledge, and our hearts are empty. These words were said 50 years ago by the evangelist Billy Graham. 50 years ago, we didn't have free internet and YouTube, INSTagram and podcasts, virtual realities and Google, to ask everything. Today we feel sick or insecure if we don't have the mood to listen some music when we work, or to listen some news meanwhile eating. We are controlled and we lead our life using this content. If you don't have an account on social media, you don't exist. The bell is ringing, it's dinner time, take the spoon and feed yourself from the biggest cooking pot in the world. Today we serve, internet content, for free. Welcome to Enrich Talks, Life Problems Encounter Imagination and Common Sense, delivered through Legacy Talks. When we sleep, our brain creates content called dreams, we forget them when we wake up into real world. Then we have the daydreams, millions of ideas that flow in our mind, and we need air and blood, plus internet content to function as human robots and to survive in this new world and her rules. 5 billion people eat this so-called internet content daily. Wait. Something is wrong in this moment? The internet is down, no connection. And we become addicted, obsessed, attached and controlled by the content we consume. You search something on YouTube, they offer some information due algorithms, you take decisions based on the answers you have received, you don't ask yourself if it is a good answer or not, a good decision or a bad decision. You do what internet said it is right for you. We consume daily huge quantities of music, video content and movies, sports and news, or stupid time spending short videos plus images and other emotional stimulus. Video consuming is our daily drug, the addiction of our brain and the future health problem of our kids. Let's look in the mirror of our life, we feed little kids with video food, cartoons food, music for kids food, games for kids, images and maybe educational content, just to keep them busy. And the future is near, online school lessons, online parenting, online babysitting, online counseling and online video friendships and later online dating to get married. People are weak parents stupid and ignorant, saying there is nothing wrong on staying hours in front of a flashing phone screen. Still, they hate the car flashlights from the cars coming from opposite sense on the road street. Mother is shouting, go out and play with other kids, but leave your phone at home. Parents are yelling, do your homework for school, do some home chores, learn a skill, read a book, learn a music instrument or a language a computer program, do something with your time, when you are still young, come and help me in my work. What is the purpose to consume so much video? The answer, to keep our mind busy and or focus on the present, disturbed is the answer from our point of view. The other answer is to make money is the answer of owners and the content creators. The question, how many hours a day? Every free minute, from waiting in a line at the store, waiting for the bus, or sitting on the toilet, or when we are bored in a meeting or we have a small break, we open the internet button to see what's new, listen some news or produce some dopamine or excitement thoughts. I have days when my brain is tired of consuming so much daily content, from self-help, news, inspiration, dopamine and wasted time. The honest fact is this. From all the things we read and had listened yesterday, we already forgot, we don't memorize every stupid thing we consume daily. Only 5% of that information we vaguely remember, and only 1% we memorize, or use in our life or work. The hard truth, millions of hours lost, consuming stupid content. Look at this amazing drawing I made, thank you God for the inspiration. The cooking pot with internet content. 
On our way to work, in the working place, with our friends and family, we fulfill our time with any type of content, from porn to sports, from fashion to what my friends are doing, buying, content creating. We have lost the capacity to think with our own brain and to create new thoughts, our arguments about life, situations, and future. We have stopped taking conclusions, we listen to other people's words and ideas, and choose an argument that we will say it's our own, we are fake. Emotions are dead, link of this talk in description. We visit a touristic place, we cannot seize the moment if we don't make photos and post them in different media platforms, then we must make a small video for TikTok, then a selfie and to buy a fridge magnet, after all this fake, we enjoy the view and the place, if we still have time and energy. We replace everything in our life with internet content. We replaced our moment of peace, moment with ourselves, our time for meditation and daily praying or worship. We replace all these with audio sounds, ASMR, relaxing videos, audio prayers, we use more images, quotes and different noises. We have audio Bible and audio video teachings, no more going to church on Sunday. And everything is affecting our brain and destroys our life, because we no longer have life experiences, we no longer use emotions, intuition, curiosity, enthusiasm, collaborations. We no longer know how to talk face to face and to express our emotions. We want the best results in any aspect of life, but from low quality actions, decisions, and zero sacrifices. You should think more, how much content you reality need in a day. Daily dose of internet time. Think about your kids and their future, if they continue life as until today. Make time for yourself. Stop eating internet content, just because your brain wants it, just like sugar or the need of being loved. Observe your daily routines, too much of anything is bad. This was Enrich Talks episode 310.